When you think of camping, this might not be the first place that comes to mind. Find out what there is to love about RV resort living next. Welcome to the channel. I'm Liz and boy, do I have an exciting video for you today. I cannot believe I am biking and also recording. So hopefully I will stay upright. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the polar opposite of what I talked about in a recent video. I did a recent video about boondocking and being out in the desert and having to worry about water and power and all that. Well, in this video, it's gonna be about living the good life in the RV life and really not even getting your hands dirty. But first, I wanna thank you for helping me reach my goal. I have a mission to hit 100,000 subscribers, so thank you for helping me get closer each day. I'm making this video to show you the many, many different ways that you can do RV life from roughing it out in the desert to living the carefree life right here. So you may be watching this thinking, well, I'll never come here. You may enjoy being out in the woods or just out in the boonies away from everyone, and there is nothing wrong with that. But what I've learned about life is that everything has a season, and and there may come a time where you want to come back and be with community, particularly if, particularly if travel is becoming too much for you. And this would be a great answer. You don't have to worry and you're basically living the RV life in a more social, stationary way. So where I'm staying is an over 55 RV community. This is a wonderful way to do RV life. If being out in the woods around bugs and snakes and that kind of thing is not your thing, then this is probably more of your lifestyle. This is truly like being on a cruise without actually getting on the water. You're gonna have all the activities in an RV retirement community that you would see on a cruise, or certainly a lot of them. There's gonna be organized sports like shuffleboard and pickleball, bingo, potlucks. There's gonna be bands and all kinds of planned activities. This is not gonna have kids running around screaming. This is not gonna be cooking hot dogs over the campfire. This is over 55, this is adult living. This is the kind of community that is geared for snowbirds. Now being a snowbird campground means that you will see the same people year after year. I actually was in a snowbird campground this past winter, not this one, but in a different one. And I really enjoyed that. There was such a strong sense of community because people had been coming for seven, eight, 10, even 15 years. And so they really knew each other. And there was just a lot of activities. We had organized bike rides, and hikes, there was sewing, quilting. So where I am now is in Mesa Spirit in Mesa, Arizona. This is a over 55 community and it's open year round, but season is November through March. Now I will say in the summer, there really is not a lot of organized activities. There's probably only 30% of people here. There's over 1,600 campsites, and a lot of them have park models, and I'll talk to you in a second about park models. All of the campsites are full hookup. There's a pool, hot tub, an amazing amount of activities, including woodwork and jewelry making, quilting, that kind of thing. They're really, you will not run out of things to do. As you can see, all the campsites here have concrete patios and mailboxes. In all my four and a half years of full-time RV life, I have never been in a campground where you get your own mailbox. So that's kind of cool. Now Mesa Spirit is an Encore Park. This is an add-on that you can get from Thousand Trails where you can add on a couple hundred more campgrounds in your membership. If you have a Thousand Trails membership with Encore, you can stay here up to two weeks if you have the traditional Thousand Trails membership or three weeks if you have the Adventure Pass. You can find campgrounds like this by using my favorite app, which is RV Trip Wizard. It will allow you to search for thousand trails, campgrounds, or even age communities. So you can search for 55 and up. You just put it in the search and you will find them. You can also search by dollar amount and of course by location and amenities that you want. I love RV Trip Wizard because it makes planning so much easier. Before I had RV Trip Wizard, I was trying to do all the work myself and I was just wearing myself out. It was like reinventing the wheel. With RV Trip Wizard, you just put in where you want to go and it will show you the campgrounds. You can read reviews, you can look at photos, you can go right to the website, and you can even see the average monthly temperatures of where you're planning to go. It really makes it easy. If you're interested in RV Trip Wizard, don't pay full price. I can get you 25% off. Just use 
use my code and the special link in the description. Park models are really interesting. They're under the RV category, but they don't travel. They're generally like 44 feet. Now park models have to have 400 square feet of living space or less. They do have wheels, which may get removed or hidden later, but most do not have holding tanks. So there's no fresh water, gray or black tanks. So generally when a park model arrives at a location, that's where it's gonna stay for the rest of its life. Typically, they have big windows on one end, if not both ends. They'll generally have full-size appliances and architectural features to make it seem more like a home. You will often see them with a porch, deck, carport, or all of the above. Floor plans often include a loft to be used as additional sleeping space. Many people move from an RV into a park model. Then they get to enjoy all the amenities the campground offers, but in a location that feels more permanent. They're gonna be more of a tiny house feel, sort of a cross between a mobile home and a tiny house. There's a lot of those park models here. You can actually rent them or buy them. I saw one for sales running around $49,000. Now you will find RV retirement communities all over the south of the U.S. from California, Arizona, Texas, Alabama, Florida, all over. And some of them are quite large. This one here in Mesa, Arizona has about 1,500, 1,600 sites. There are plenty with over 3,000. So what you get when you go to a larger community, of course, is more amenities. Most of them seem to be run with a really um, I don't know, high level of care. I feel like if I was running and like dropped a tissue before it hit the ground, somebody would pick it up. I mean, they're very into being neat and clean and orderly here. In fact, there's garbage pickup to your door here and at several other retirement communities I've been to, which is lovely. I mean, like I said, it's living the good life. I have to say for me, whether I like to be out in the desert or here in this kind of campground, it's variety. Variety is the spice of life. While I'm here, I love it. I love having good, fast internet. I love the strong social community. I love taking long showers and not having to worry about water usage. And when I'm out in the desert, I love that too. So variety is a spice of life for me. And I highly recommend if you're an RVer to mix it up and try out different things as well. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. And let me know if you would ever try an RV retirement community. I'd love to hear it. As always, these are exciting times to push past fear, build confidence, and live amazing. And look at me. I can do it. I think for a second, I can take my hands off. Just for a second. <laughs> Thanks for watching.